Well, I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Hallelujah. I will enter into his courts with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Why don't you put your hands together in the house Hallelujah. of the Lord and glad glory, 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 Father, we thank you. We praise you for this opportunity. Our scripture this morning comes from Psalms 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Let us pray. Father, we bless you. We praise you and we thank you for this opportunity this morning to come into the house. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that as we go into this service, that your anointing will be fresh in this place today. Fall fresh in this place. Have your way today. Say what you want to say and do what you want to do. And we'll be careful to give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We came to say that the Lord is holy, 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 holy. Hallelujah. Here we go. Holy, 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 holy. Somebody say holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy is the Lord. God Almighty. He's worthy to receive. And worthy to receive honor. He's worthy to receive. Yes, he is. From the top, one more time. Everybody sing holy. Holy, holy, holy. Come on, everybody sing holy. Come on, wherever you are, say he's worthy to receive. Yes, he is. And he's worthy to receive honor. Oh, he's worthy to receive. Hey, all our praise. Yes, say praise him. Come on and praise him and lift him up. Who came to bless our awesome Savior? Praise Him. Oh, Lord, exalt His name. Hey, praise Him. I got a reason to praise Him. Who came to bless His name? Oh, Lord, exalt His name. his name. I've got a reason to praise him. I came to exalt his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise him. Who gave a blessing bless his name. I don't care what nobody else says. I came to praise him. Exalt his name forever. One more time, praise him. Praise him. Praise him and lift him up. Praise him and lift him up. I got a reason to bless his name. He's wonderful. He's worthy. Exalt his name forever. Exalt his name forever. I came 
want to exalt his name. He's worthy. Somebody shout, he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Pain and difficulty, bereavement, 
at this particular time in their lives. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that your power causing them to experience your healing, your deliverance, your comfort, and your peace. Father, we pray for all those that are part of this ministry that may be watching the, the stream, those that are in the house. Father, we pray that you enlarge our territory. Grant us favor in the name of Jesus. Father, there may be some that may have some financial challenges or, or marital issues or challenges with their children. This morning, we pray in the name of Jesus that your power would intervene in their situation. Those that are just coming out of the hospital. Those that may be getting ready to go in the hospital. Thank you, Father. You sent your word and you healed us. And so we bless you this morning. And we thank you for the blessings of the Lord are upon this house. Yeah, we walk in the blessings of the Lord. Yeah, we're called by his name. In the name of Jesus. Father, our children are blessed. Our parents and grandparents are blessed. You're such an awesome God this morning. We bless you. We thank you that we revel in your love this morning. We thank you that we have the opportunity to stand in your presence. To come before the very throne room. To find help. So we thank you this morning. We're called according to your purpose. So bless us indeed. Bless us indeed this morning. Father, bless us indeed this morning. You know our desires. We pray that you bless us. We pray that you keep us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you. Oh, we praise you this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But let the saints of God say, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, music ministry. God bless you. Woo. Amen. Just took me somewhere. But listen, it's time for us to welcome all of those that are joining us this morning via our live stream to all of those that may be visiting with us and to all of our family members. This morning, we greet you in divine love and we're glad that you're on the stream. I believe that you tapped into the right stream. For the Lord has a word for you today. And we just thank God that you're here. We thank God for all of these essentials, the essential ones that are here in the sanctuary with us this morning. And for all of you that are visiting us, there's a special way that we welcome all of our visitors. We thank God that you've chosen to visit with us this morning. But listen, we want you to hear our heart and hear how we feel about you visiting us. Pray the worship team. Why don't you help me welcome our visitors this morning? Welcome to the family experience. We have come to praise our God in a place where love prevails overhead. Welcome to the family experience. You are welcome here any time, any day to help us praise His name.
that was just so beautiful. Even the cameraman started directing the song. Praise the Lord. Well, let us receive Sister Evelyn Harris at this time with our morning announcement. Thank you, Pastor, and good morning. Today is Sunday, May 17th, and this is what's happening at The View. We will continue to stream our services Sundays and Wednesdays until further notice. Oh, but be sure to tune in as Pastor brings a powerful word from God. Remember to join us for Sunday school each and every Sunday morning from 930 to 10 o'clock a.m. If you've missed any of our church services, you're still able to view them via Facebook. Visit our Facebook page to view at your leisure. Our live services are available via YouTube as well. The services will be uploaded after the live streams and available for viewing. All service information can be found on our website at www.greaterfairview.org and on our Facebook page at Greater Fairview Missionary Baptist Church. The Greater Fairview Church family would like to salute our graduates. All graduates are asked to email a graduation photo including the name of your school to east.gfview at gmail.com. Again, that's E-A-S-T dot G-F-View at gmail.com. Please be sure to email your information on or before Wednesday, May 27th. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much, James 5 and 16. Join Pastor Russell and First Lady Dr. Natalie M. Russell for 15-minute prayer calls Monday through Friday beginning promptly at 7 a.m. The call number is 978-990-5000, access code 786 044. Remember to join the prayer warriors on Tuesdays at noon for prayer as well. The call number is the same, 978-990-5000, access code 786-044. Pastor Russell, First Lady Dr. Natalie M. Russell, and the entire Greater Fairview Church family would like to send a very special thank you to all of our healthcare professionals, first responders, and essential workers. Your service, bravery, and dedication during this pandemic are worthy of notice. We thank God for you as you continue to serve on the front line to ensure the health and well-being for the rest of us. We pray God's covering over you and divine safety as you serve. Once again, we thank you. As we see more businesses beginning to reopen, Pastor Russell wants to remind us to continue to walk in the wisdom of washing our hands often, using hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, and Lysol when available. And if you absolutely must leave your home, please remember to wear a mask to prevent the chance of infection. Thank you in advance for continuing to walk in wisdom, patience, love, and understanding towards one another. And finally, if you'd like your ministry or event to be included in the morning announcements, the deadline is Wednesday by noon. And that is what's happening at The View. Peace and blessings. Amen. God bless you. And thank you so much, Sister Evelyn, for those wonderful announcements. Listen, this morning, I want to say to everybody that's listening, God is still in control. Somebody say amen. God is still in control. And listen, I know that the city and the states are opening up, but listening right now, we are still in the mode that we're in with our streams going live. We will make announcements in the next few weeks as to um, a potential date that we'll be reopening the sanctuary. But the Bible told us to watch and pray. Amen. And so we're going to watch a little while as we continue to pray because we want to make certain that we, we maintain the safety of our church family. Amen. And listen, I just exhort you to please stay connected. There are so many things going on in the ministry via our phone conferences, our live streams, Zooms, etc. And I want to exhort you to make certain that you avail yourself, to make certain that you're on when you need to be on, to fellowship and, and just keep in touch with the family. And listen, great if I have you, I want to thank you for your faithfulness and your continued support of this ministry. We have members that are on the prayer line every morning. I know some of you may say, I'm not up. But if you set an alarm and get up, you could be up. And the thing that I love is 
My God never oversleeps because he never sleeps. And I'm going to tell you this. It's the best 15 minutes you can spend of your day. So we just exhort you to continue to do what you're doing. Thank you so much for your continued support and, and being faithful in, in your tithes and offering. Listen, we have been uh, confessing over the last three and a half, almost four years, increase, overflow, and favor. Amen, church? Amen. Amen. And the Lord continues to show increase, overflow, and favor over this ministry. And if you're a part of this ministry and you've been confessing increase, overflow, and favor, he will continue to show it in your house. Just continue to stay faithful. Listen, God is God. Listen, when all those plagues were going on in Egypt, God wasn't moved because he knew he, who was ultimately in charge. And I want to, 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 to exhort you to maintain your faith and stand your ground that we are called by his name. We are royal priesthood. We are chosen ones. He has a plan for us. So even in the midst of the pandemic, the blessings in the hand of the Lord is upon us. Again, we want to congratulate all of our 2020 graduates. Let's give our graduates all of those. We thank God for all of our 2020 graduates. And we know that there have been uh, challenges with, 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 with the normal way that we do things. But listen, this is not the same time as it was three or four months ago. So we want to salute you again, get that information in that was announced today so we can plan the proper uh, uh, celebration uh, and salute to you. We, we thank God for you and we honor you and we thank God for your accomplishments. And even though you can't do things the way you've normally done them, you have to do them a different way. Yesterday we had a, we had a, a Zoom graduation party for our daughter, Raquel. She graduated and um, has already been accepted to um, University of Pennsylvania. Uh, for her graduate uh, degree, and we had a celebration yesterday uh, via Zoom, and we, listen, y'all, we had a blast. We had banners up, and everybody was talking. Mama Russell made us cry, laughing. We just had a good time. Well, listen, celebrate. If you, whatever you need to do, do it a different way. Listen, just celebrate. Be wise, but find a way to celebrate. Think about it like this. When, when Paul and Silas got locked in jail, they weren't at church. They were in jail. But what happened? One began to sing, and the other began to pray. And all of a sudden, God moved. And I want to tell you something. You may be in an uncomfortable situation right now, but if you look to the, woo, if you look to the Lord, amen, he will, he will show you why you have a reason to be thankful. And finally, I want us to continue to pray for the Pettis and Neal and Washington families. We laid... Um, Sister Washington to, to, to rest yesterday, her remains, and, and Sister Vera Neal the same. And listen, y'all, beautiful graveside ceremonies, doing something different. But I need you to continue to pray for those families. Great families within our church. We love them. We thank God for them. And we're continuing to pray for them. And listen, when the Lord leads you, reach out. If the Lord, if the Lord leads you to give them a little something, something then give them a little something. something. Amen? Amen. And we thank God for them. It's their time now. Amen. But it may be hours later. Well, listen, it's offering time in the house of the Lord. Anybody excited about offering time? Amen. We thank the Lord today for offering time. The word of the Lord tells us in Luke 6, 38, to give and it shall be given. Listen, y'all, if, if you are a consistent tither, you would be able to take this microphone from me today and testify about how good God is. It seems like every time you turn around, he just keep on and keep on blessing you. Amen. So be faithful. Don't let the devil cheat you out of tithing. You can't afford not to tithe. Amen. So we thank God that his word says that when we give, it's given back to us. Listen, this morning you can give via uh, our, our, our online service, Push Pay. You can text to give. You can text GF View to 77977. That's GF View to 77977. You can give on our app or our Facebook page, or I mean our, our, our website, or you can mail it to the church, or God bless you, you can drop it off. Either way, let the Lord lead you. As we do every Sunday, we pronounce a blessing over our tithers. So all tithers at home, all tithers in the building, I need you to stand up as we pronounce our blessing. Father, we thank you for your covenant of giving. Father, thank you that we've received it. 
and we walk in we walk in covenant with you as it pertains to our finances and father we thank you that even in the midst of a pandemic oh my god even in the midst of a pandemic increase overflow in favor still operating in our lives thank you that our houses are blessed our bills are paid listen our bank accounts are smiling we thank you in the name of Jesus bless every business owner every every manager every employee every man woman boy girl every dad every wife every grandma granddad every niece nephew every part of this ministry that stands in covenant with you bless us Lord according to what your word says and we'll be careful to give you honor and praise in Jesus name and for those that are giving offerings this morning thank you that you give us you give us seed to sow and bread to eat and you multiply our seed as we cast our bread up on the water Thank you that it comes back to us on every wave in Jesus' name, amen. Well, everybody, if you would take out your devices, what you're giving, and just hold them up and repeat after me. I'm moving to a new level in my living because I'm moving to a new level in my giving. I expect nothing but the best from my God. And his best includes a threefold blessing. Increase. Overflow, overflow and favor, and faith. Increase. increase, overflow, overflow. And, favor. and faith, increase, increase. Overflow. overflow and favor. And all, three all three are showing up all right with me. In the name of Jesus, let us give unto the Lord. Amen.
God for that song at, at the right time. Amen. Well, it's time for the word. We want to do our confession, and we're going to get right into the word. I need everybody at home, take out your Bibles. If you, whatever you're using, your phone, your Bibles, your tablet, whatever you're using, I need you to repeat after me. If I receive this word, with my mind only, with my mind only this, word this word will be dead for me. But if I receive this word with the Spirit over my mind, over my emotions, and over my fleshly desires, this word will be life for me. Lord, I don't need religion, form, and fashion. I need life. Look at your neighbor. Tell him, get some life today. If you would, turn in your Bibles. Amen. To Psalms 103. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Stephan and the team for that song. Led me right on into my message. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalms 103. Most of you could quote it. However, you don't really have much to quote because we're doing one verse. Psalm 103, verse 1. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Again, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Do it again. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Let us pray. Father, we bless you and we praise you and we thank you for the word. Father, thank you for the opportunity to, to come and sit at your feet. Father, we praise you and thank you for the word this morning. And we thank you that it's already settled in heaven, that you watch over it to perform it. And so, Father, this morning, I pray that you make my tongue the pen of a ready writer, ready to write your word upon the hearts of your people. And thank you, Father God, that the people of God will receive the word of God this morning with faith. And in doing so, it will cause us to prosper. And we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. I'm going to read it one more time. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. This morning, I want to preach from the topic, use what you got. Use what you got. I was so thankful to hear the choir singing. Um, he has done, he has done marvelous things. He's done, he's done marvelous things. Praise his name. I said, well, go on and lead me into the message. Because I don't know if you know it or not, but, but he's done marvelous, marvelous things. Listen, this particular psalm, Psalms 103, is a psalm that I love. And right here, the psalm opened by saying, bless the Lord. And, and it's really an exhortation to bless God for his mercies. And so when you say it's an exhortation, yeah, it's an exhortation for us to bless God for his mercies. And well, well, well Pastor, when, I, when you say bless him for his mercies, what are you talking about? Well, let me tell you this. Everything you need is inside of his mercy. Everything that you would ever want is inside of his mercy. So, so it says, bless him. You remember, you remember when, when, when blind Bartimaeus, he, he, he said, son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have. And then when Jesus told him to bring him to him, he got there. Jesus said, what is it that you want? I kept saying, Jesus, you see the man is blind. You know what he wants. He said, yeah, but he called on my mercy. And see, when you call on the mercy of the Lord, you have to get specific. Calling, when you call on the mercy, it's like, it's like going to, 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 to Popeye's drive through And they say, welcome to Popeye's. How may I help you? And you just tell them I'm hungry. No, they're going to say, tell me what you want. You want a spicy chicken sandwich? You want a two-piece all-white spicy with Cajun rice? I need you to tell me what you want because, see, when you just say, I'm hungry, we got a lot of food in here. The Lord says, when you talk about his mercies, that's everything you'll ever need. Remember, this verse tells us, it reminds us that we should praise the Lord. Well, wait a minute, Pastor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, listen, we forget so many times to do so many things 
But this particular psalm is reminding us that we should praise the Lord. A lot of people will say, you know what? I meant to get on the prayer call, but I overslept. Well, if you do like me, you set two alarm clocks. You set two, and when one goes off, it'll wake you up. And then if you don't get up and fall back to sleep, the other one will get you up. Well, 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 that's a reminder that it's time to get up. Well, well, listen, this psalm, it, it calls us back to say, listen, you need to remember to bless the Lord. Anybody, has the Lord been good to anybody in here? Well, see, if the Lord has been good to you, then I think it's no more than right for us to bless him. And so, and so let's just get into this this morning because I, 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 I've been excited about this verse all week long. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul. Barah, barah. This is a Hebrew word that it means to kneel before God in humble submission. To kneel before God in humble submission. The truth of the matter is, hmm, God is already good. He's all-powerful. He's all-knowing. He is everywhere at the same time, and he knows everything. But this causes us to respond back to him. So this word tells us that we should kneel to God in humble submission. Isn't it amazing sometimes that the Lord will bless us and we'll get so excited about his blessings that we began to think more about the blessings than the blesser. And listen, this is another thing. Do you know that if you're not careful and then the Lord begin to bless you, that you'll begin to want to be made known by your stuff? Okay, well, not y'all. Do you know that if you're not careful, you'll want to be made known by your stuff? more so than being known by the one who gave you the stuff. Mm -hmm. This word tells us that we're to bow in humble submission. Oh, my God. Well, well, well I'll, you know, some people say, has the Lord been good to you? We ask the question, but I can look at you. I can look at you and tell that the Lord has already been good. Now, this is my question. If he's used what he has to bless us, why won't we use what we have to bless him? See, 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 y'all heard me say the other Sunday, if I could sing like Brother Stephen, I would be in the ICU. But the truth of the matter is when I sing to him, I sound better than Brother Stephen. Because, see, when I sing to him, I, it don't matter how it sounds to you. But when I go before my father, and, 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 and I was upstairs doing it, and then when y'all were singing the prayer of Jabez, I started just walking around upstairs. I don't know if I was singing the right part, Sister Denise, but I know I was singing my part. They say, that ain't the right part, but it's my part. Because, see, he's been good to me. And so, Bless the Lord mean, means to, 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 to just bow before the Lord. Oh, my soul. Hmm. Bless the Lord. To bow. Oh, my soul. Let me explain something. We are living beings created in the image of God. And so when you think about a man is a tripart being with spirit, soul, and body. We're created in the image and likeness of God. Hmm. So we are a breathing creation of God, created in his image. So let me, let me, listen, if you go search throughout the whole earth and try to find something that looks like God, you're going to end up back in your mirror. You'll end up back in your mirror. Why? Because we were created in his image and in his likeness. And so this word here says, bow before the Lord in adoration. Oh, my soul, 
That means the very life of me. And listen, God is seeking those to worship him in spirit and in truth. Now listen, I know this pandemic is going on, and, 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 and I know a lot of folk can't get to church. But during times like these, the tradition of being taught how to act in church, that ain't worth nothing. You know, you can see some people and they just churchy. Brother Stephen, play me a chord. Ah! Shana. Give me another one. Oh, t- and, and see, we learn all of that churchy stuff. But let me tell you something. When you really have him down on the inside of you, it doesn't have to be in the key of C or G. You can just hear the word of the Lord, and it'll send something off on the inside of you. Oh, my soul. So, we will bless the Lord. I will bless him. And what well, doesn't matter how I pass, I don't feel like blessing him. It don't matter because, see, you're, you, you're telling your soul what you're going to do. Your body is not telling you what you're going to do. Doesn't matter. But during these particular times, we have to learn to bless the Lord. And listen, y'all, I love this part. And all that is within me. All that is within me. What does that mean? Well, it depends. It depends. What's in you? So all the powers and all of my faculties, listen, all that I have, all that I am, all the strength I have, everything, the Bible tells me to use it to bless the Lord. And I know, I, I promise you, long time ago, I would see some folks shout, and I would see them shout and shout, and I would go like, oh, my God. But what I didn't know was, I didn't know why they were shouting. Tell you the truth, it really wasn't my business. But, but the Scripture says here, all that is within me, my heart, my will, my affections, my emotions. Isn't it interesting now that we're wearing masks to keep us from being contaminated, to keep, keep us from being infected? We're wearing masks. Hmm. I wish there was a mask that we could put on that'll keep us from sin. It, you know, folk, don't get close. Now, isn't it strange before Corona, everybody is rubbing and shaking and touching. But now, since Corona has come out, don't get too close. I wish there was a mask we could put on that'll keep us away from sin the same way. See, when you use all that's within you, hmm, none of our faculties are exempt from praising him, from blessing him. And I think about sometimes how, how we, will, we will allow a situation to send us to the psychiatrist. You go in, and y'all see it on TV like this, and you get on the couch, and you pay them $150 an hour, and you just talk. They ask you questions, and, and they allow you to talk, and they write. And when you get off the couch, sometimes they ask you, do you feel better? And most people say, you know what? I'm making progress. And listen, we thank God for psychiatrists. I pray for them every day. And clinical psychologists, I pray for them. But, 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 but the world will cause us to go into positions that will cause us to have to go and have to talk to somebody. And listen, ain't nothing wrong with it if you need to go. But I want you to try something first. I want you to use that same mouth. And I want you to get into his presence. And I want you to begin talking to him and, and, and see what he has to say about it. See, one thing about the mask that we're wearing, it covers our mouth. 
We're wearing a mask right now that covers our mouth. If, if we would take that same mouth and put the word of the Lord inside of our mouth, and listen, what am I going to ask him for? I'm going to ask him for nothing. I'm just going to bless him. Because, see, a lot of times, Saints will find themselves in a situation, and the reason that they are complaining and having to go see somebody is they only see the negative side of it. But if you can see the God side of it, and so what do I have to do, what do I have to put forth to, to bless him with all that is within me? Well, I got to take all that is within me to bless him. Well, pastor, is it going to happen automatically? Am I going to wake up? No. No. I prayed for a husband. I prayed for a wife, and the Lord gave me one. Well, now all you're doing is talking about them. This whole thing you gave me. Lord, I need you to deliver me. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. No. What you have to learn to do is you have to learn to bless the Lord. Well, Father, what if I'm caught in a situation that I, it doesn't matter? You need to learn to bless the Lord. Why? Because see, when you begin to bless him, you begin to magnify him in that situation. Now, the situation may not change, but when God becomes 5,000 times larger than the situation it is ultimately changed. Why? Because your view of the matter has changed. And so everything that's within me, I got to bless him. And then it says, bless him with all this. Then it says, bless his holy name. I mean, I'm not going to hold you long today. Bless his holy name. Listen, by the name that we reverence, listen, what we are to do is we are to, to, to bless the character of God. So, Pastor, what are you talking about? Listen, listen. He's a creative being. He's an interpersonal being. And he's a loving father. And so think about those things. He's a creative being. Everything that you see, the Bible says, was created by him and for him. And there was nothing made that wasn't created by him. He's a creative being. And, and when you think about your life and you think about where you are now opposed to where you were, God is the one that enabled those things to come into our lives. He's a creative being. Well, he's an interpersonal being relating to relationships and communication. Isn't it interesting that as you see in the Scripture, all down through the Scripture, God kept calling people to him to commune with them. He kept calling them to him. He kept, he keeps, he's saying, come into my presence with, with singing. And, and, and he keeps calling us. He said, you know, come in and, and, and find joy and peace and, and find grace to help. He, he's an interpersonal one. He says that we're to cease not in prayer. So many times we forget that we, are, we should be the example for the world and not following the world. Very interpersonal. And so let me, let, let me say a little bit more about that. There are times when you just need to have a talk with Jesus. Anybody ever been there where you need to just have a talk with Jesus? You know, they say when you have a talk with Jesus, you know, he'll make it better. He'll, he'll make it all right. But isn't it strange every time you want to talk to him, his spirit just want to talk to you too. Times when you may not even be thinking about it, the spirit of the Lord on the inside of us will begin saying stuff to us. Begin communicating to us, reminding us that we are spiritual beings having a natural experience. And don't let this world steal your joy. Don't let this world cause you to be negative. 
Don't let this world cause you or send you into a, a mindset that, listen, I just, I just don't know how I'm going to. I know how you're going to get out the same way you got out of everything else. And he's a loving father. Thank you, Jesus. He's a loving father. Even in the middle and before we knew him, he died for us. And not only did he die for us, he made provision. Now, let me explain this to you. The Bible says that a good father leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And on and on and on and on. Don't you know before, don't you know before God created us, he already set our inheritance in place? Don't you know that he has an inheritance? Now listen, you may not be walking in all of it. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't mean that he didn't already set it into motion. Before, listen, listen, during, 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 during the pandemic, you know, a lot, of, a lot of saints got laid off too. But listen, listen. When a person leaves this world, we have what we call insurance. If you have a house, you want to have house insurance. If you have a car, you want to have car insurance. If you have valuable jewelries, jewelry, you want to have a, 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 a value policy on your jewelry. Now listen. If you're a child of God and you've been tithing the first fruit of all your increase and then the pandemic comes, I don't care what the government says, I don't care what your job says, what you do is you activate your insurance policy. You say, Father, I've been tithing. Father, I've been given, and I thank you that according to your word, because I've been given, when the time comes, I can come and I can withdraw. See, he's a loving father like that. Before you knew you, he already set it into place. Revelations 4.11 says, you are worthy, O Lord and God. To receive glory and honor and power since you created all things and because of your will they existed and were created. Sometimes as Christians we love this world so much. And it, isn't it interesting? We like, to, we like to wear designer stuff. Don't raise your hand because all of us are guilty sometimes. But I've always been the type of person that I would say, listen, I'm not wearing your labels on the outside of my clothes. I don't want people looking at me and calling your name. You know. But isn't it interesting? We love to carry names with us. And, and when you wear certain designers, you will make people say something. Even if they don't necessarily like it, they'll acknowledge the designer. And they don't say, those just some nice shoes. They'll say, nice Meslins, nice Louis Vuitton, nice Michael Kors, nice Hickey Freeman, nice Chanel. Why? Because, see, it's already in us to like names. Are you with me? It's in us to like names. But the world will cause you, if you're not careful, to shift your focus, and then you'll be pushing another name. But I thank God for the name of Jesus. Let me say this to you. The psalmist here was saying, oh, magnify the Lord with me. He says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And, and listen, if you read Psalms 103, you'll see, as a matter of fact, let's turn back to Psalms 103. Amen. It says, Psalms 103, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. 
who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that they are, so that they, so that thy youth is renewed like an eagle. He went on to, to talk about all the reasons why he should bless the Lord and why we should bless the Lord. Well, I think sometimes about Christians. Listen, listen, this is how we look at things sometimes. Listen to me. Gas is yet too high. Well, if you got gas, you need gas. It means you got an automobile. Instead of saying, Lord, thank you for the automobile and thank you for the money to buy the gas, we want to complain about the gas, but you got an automobile. It, I'm just sick of my boss. If you're sick of your boss, it means you got a job. And we have to learn and we have to train our spirits that we are to bless the Lord at all times. The music just too loud. If the music too loud, you better thank him that you can hear. Praise and worship just went too long today. I'm tired of standing up. You better thank him for the activities. Too many times we go to the negative and he's saying, listen, I just need you to acknowledge who I am. I need you to acknowledge what I've done. I'm so sick of staying in this house during this pandemic. Hold on. You sick of staying in your house? Uh, uh, I'm missing something. Yo, you got a house, probably got central air, probably got cable, probably got internet, and you sick of staying in your house? I need somebody to help me this morning. I'm so sick. I just, I just need to get out. Well, well, think about it. Our great-grandparents, some of them had wood frame houses, no central air. You got five bathrooms, and they had to walk down the hill to go. So sick of you. What you sick of? If, listen, if you really, if you really want to begin to enjoy the house, I need you to get up. Gert yourself and walk from room to room and say, Lord, I thank you for this bed. Lord, I thank you for this nightstand. Father, I thank you for this lamp. Father, I got more than one closet. I thank you for everything that I got in my closet. Father, thank you for this room that we don't even use. We got a blessing. I'm sick of staying in the house. The restaurants can't go in them. I'm sick of eating the same food. Had chicken last week, chicken on Tuesday, chicken on Friday. Just keep watching the commercials until you see them say, you can feed a starving child. I'm sick of this. See, listen. If you're going to really bless the Lord, you got to have a heart to appreciate him. So what you're talking about this morning? I'm talking about you use what you got. See, I can't, I can't tell your story. I can't tell your testimony. I can say, yes, the Lord can bless you. I can say, yeah, I can see that the Lord has kept you. But see, I can't tell it like you can. But you can tell it, baby. And this word right here says, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. I came to the stop sign yesterday. Man had a sign say, we'll work for food. And then my wife and I, baby, what you want to eat? What you got a taste for? What you got a taste for? I don't have a taste for anything. I don't either. Well, I picked last time. You know. And then you go open the freezer, literally, and sometimes stuff will slide out and stuff will slide out the freezer on the floor. It's so much stuff in the refrigerator and the freezer, and we're around here complaining. Folk got houses made out of cardboard boxes. 
and we're complaining. Complaining about the car and somebody have to walk five blocks to catch the bus. Father, forgive us. The truth of the matter is, if you really, 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 really want to walk in the blessings of the Lord, I dare you. I dare you to make you a praise tape. Make you a playlist and put your name on it. And every morning, just hit play and begin to walk through the house. Oh, Father, I feel the air. You woke me up this morning. You done started me on my way. I ain't going to miss the prayer call because you've been good to me. Listen, listen, listen. Somebody wrote a song that says, it says, Shabbat, hallelujah, Barak. Listen, Shabbat means to praise him with a loud voice. Anybody in here got a loud voice today? Sometimes you just have to open up your mouth. I'm not talking about your neighbor. You have to open up your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. You've been good to me. You made a way out of no way when I was messed up. You're the one that brought me. And then it says, Barak. That means to kneel before him. Like kneeling before your king. Just to tell him, I stand in all of you. Then it says to Yada. Yada to extend your hand. Sometimes when I'm walking, like the praise and worship of team, I just walk and I, and I extend my hands because he's been good. And then it says, uh, ta 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 Thank you this morning. Somebody needs to give up. I told you I praise. Your praise needs to reflect his blessing. And then taqwa. To clap your hands. Clap your hands, somebody. Just clap them. Clap them like you love the Lord. For all of your goodness, for all that you've done for me, thank you, hallelujah, and then listen, the healer means to sing, sometimes you just have to get by yourself and just begin to worship the Lord with your own song, but then it says, halal means to celebrate, anybody Ever just get before the Lord and celebrate. Lord, you brought me out. When I was lost in a world of sin, couldn't find no peace within. You brought me. When it seemed like I couldn't get out of my mess, you brought me. When it seemed like the children were going to wear the hair out of my head, you brought me. When it seemed like I wasn't going to make it, you brought me. But my favorite is Kara. It means to dance. Sometimes I just think about how good God's been to me. And it makes me want to break out. So you ain't got no partner. Oh, yes, I do. He's been good. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to use what I got to bless his name. Church, stop taking the Lord's blessings for granted. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. And I need somebody today. I just need you to think about how good God has really been to you. I don't want you thinking about no stuff you need. I just need you to think right now about has it been good to anybody here? I just need you to think about how good God has been to you. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to praise him 
like you ain't never praised him. I just need you to begin to open your mouth. I need you to begin to clap your hands. I need you to begin to lift up holy hands and thank God because he's been better to us than we praise him. The Bible says from the rising of the sun until the going down of the saints, he's been good. He's been mighty good. And I just need you. Come on, don't fool me. I need you to throw your yes. I need you to praise him. I need you to praise him.
what you got to bless it. My, my, my. My, my, my. Remember the time I, I didn't have a dime. But it stepped in. And I will. Can anybody testify? I will. I will bless it. I will bless him with all I got. Lord, you've been so good. I am. That's a good one. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, Basha. I don't know about it. Somebody ain't praised him yet. I don't know about you. But I'll bless him. Yes. Yes, Lord. You've been so good. Yes. Yes, I have. You've been Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You've been yes. good. Yes. Hallelujah. Ah. You've been so good. Better than good. You've been good. You've been good. Say that again. Say that again. You've been good. Yes. Is there any? You've been good. You, 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 you. You've been good. He's been good. Hallelujah. He's been good. He's been good. So good. Yara Vashata. So good. We say thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can anybody help me thank the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Thanks. We got to be quick to, to bless him, quick to praise him, because he's been good. Saints, he's been good. Some of you can remember when your children were born and not had grown, and the Lord has been good. remember times in your life when it seemed like the devil was trying to take you out but God kept you he wrapped his arms all around you made a way when there was no way turned my darkness in spite of me he's been good He's been good. He's been good. If you don't know the Lord today, 
we invite you to come. See, it could have been me. Outdoors. With no home, no, no food, and, and no clothes. It could have been me. But he didn't let it. He didn't let it. He didn't let it be so. Thank you, Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, we invite you today to come to know this great God that we're blessing with all with all that's within us. We want you to know him. The Bible says if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, he was born of a virgin, crucified on a cross, buried and raised with all power. If you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. I want everybody to repeat after me today. God in heaven, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He was born of a virgin, crucified on a cross, buried in a tomb, and raised with all power. Lord Jesus, I invite you to come into my heart and live inside of me for the rest of my days. I confess you as my Savior. Now, according to the word, you're saved. And if you prayed that prayer for the first time today, I want you to reach out to us. I want you to reach out to us here at the church. We want to get some information in your hands. God bless you. Sing praise team. We need to bless him, y'all. We need to bless him. We need to bless him. Thank you, Jesus.
Peter Fairview, as we go out throughout the rest of this day, I need you to practice blessing the Lord with all that's within you. I need you to just count your blessings. Name them one by one. One by one. I need you to count them and name them one by one. And just continue to bless the Lord. Father, we come today and we thank you for this service. As we prepare to leave this place, but not your presence. I pray that the Spirit of God will stir us up even the more. That we'll bless you with all that's within us. That Father will be careful to, to bless you and, and give you the glory and give you the praise and, and just count the blessings and name them. You've been so good. You've been so kind. And as we leave this place, but never your presence, may your love, your grace, and your peace continue to be with us until we meet again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.